Today we are taking a closer look into farming, which is coming to SnowRunner in Phase 8. In this video we will be taking a look at the new tractors, covering the basics of farming, and a whole lot more. Stay tuned! Not since logging was introduced to the game back in Phase 3 has there been such a big update which carries with it a lot of potential with the addition of farming. A quick reminder that all of the game footage and things we cover today are still being tested on the PTS or public test server and are subject to change before final release. Let's get started by talking about the new region. The new maps are based out of the Belozersk Glades region in Central Asia. After some quick research you will find out this is not a real place and the most likely explanation for this is that the maps were originally planned for a Russian region, but were renamed due to the current real-world situation. Without getting into all of it, I will say that the good news is that future updates may be spread out throughout the world, and that is a good thing. I've seen some many comments with some great suggestions on new map locations and enjoy reading your feedback. Now let's get back on topic. The Central Asian region Belozers consists of four big new maps and you will be tasked with restoring the area's prior farmland glory according to the description. Your main objectives will include restoring the power grid, averting an ecological crisis, and establishing a company farm. In order to do so, there are two new tractor additions to the game. The first we'll cover is the older generation Kirovets K700 which can be obtained from the local scrapyard next door to your garage on the first map. The tractor is a reward for completing the Beast Rising contract for Harvest Core. Once you have delivered the tractor to the delivery point at your garage, it is now part of your fleet. The Kirovets K700 was also available in Mudrunner and can be described as a 4x4 heavy duty tractor. Thanks to its massive wheels, powerful engine, and articulated steering, it is quite capable as an off-road vehicle, allowing it to pull just about anything through the harshest terrain and weave through trees with ease. The stock engine and special gearbox are more than enough to get you started, but things will be much easier once you find the engine upgrades scattered throughout the region. The fine-tuned gearbox is found in Wisconsin if you haven't unlocked it yet, and the advanced special comes from Alaska. The stock mud tires can be upgraded by ranking up and purchasing the four available MSH tire options. Standard winch package is also available. The K700 can be outfitted with a unique van body add-on as well as the all-new log loading crane, nicknamed the claw as it's known for Mudrunner. Besides the log loading function, it can be used to load and carry just about anything it can get its metal grip on. Where the K700 really shines is the ability to tow a variety of trailers. Besides the standard farming equipment, you can also haul a variety of standard trailers including cargo ranging from 2 to 4 slots. Even though it lacks diff lock, the tires are big enough to get through just about anything similar to other vehicles already in the game with the bigger wheelbase. Now let's go over the newer generation Kirovets K7M. Just like its predecessor, the K7M is an absolute beast of a vehicle. Equipping the dual tires makes it the widest truck in the game, which can make it difficult to maneuver in some situations. Even getting through standard sized building entrances throughout the game will be a very tight squeeze, so you'll need to pay extra attention when handling this giant. Again, the stock engine and special gearbox come with plenty of power, but you'll be able to find the engine upgrades throughout the region. The other upgrades are shared with the K700 and can be found in Wisconsin and Alaska. The K7M only comes with two mud tire options, which is the single and dual wheel package of the 79 inch MSH tire options. Unfortunately, this tractor only has the single unique van body add-on, and unlike the K700, the K7M lacks the variety of trailers and can only equip farming equipment like the multi-row planter, potato harvester, and cultivator. And that brings us to the final segment of this video, which is the farming. Right now on the PTS, there's a single contract called Sample Field for the testing of this activity. The developer has stated that the final retail version will be more robust and spread out through all the maps. 
Hopefully we can expect to see farming come to other areas of the game and be incorporated to existing maps like they did with logging. Now we will go over the three basic farming functions being introduced to the game in Phase 8. First we have Cultivation. For this you'll need to equip a cultivator and head over to the field that needs work. I like that you need to seek out a safe entry path to get off the main road, otherwise you might get your tractor stuck in the drainage ditch that surrounds the field. Once you get onto the field, you'll need to line the tractor up in the direction that you want to go, and go into the functions and toggle coupler mode. You only have to do this once. As you leave the field to start on a new row, the coupler will automatically activate upon re-entry to the field. We will finish cultivating 15% of this field before moving on to the next farming activity. Next we will be planting a new crop. For this you'll need to equip the multi-row planter and head to the field that needs work. Once again, line up the tractor in the direction you will be heading and toggle coupler mode. Just as before you only have to do this one time. As we go around with the planter you will see new plants beginning to surface. We will finish planting 10% of this field before moving on to the next farming activity. We will end the video by harvesting potatoes. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you are looking forward to this update as much as I am. I'm very hopeful that we will see farming show up in other regions and that we will soon see more variety in the crops that can be planted and harvested along with the additional add-ons and cargo. It would be great to one day transport grain or harvest corn in Michigan for example. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll be back soon with more SnowRunner videos.